The other side of the Amazon rainforest is the location of our next story. It's about an architectural treasure dropped in the middle of the jungle in Brazil, the remarkable Opera House of Manaus. As we saw in our previous piece, the Amazon is best known for its abundant array of plant and animal life. But in 1896, the city built a concert hall to rival the best in Europe thanks to the prosperous rubber industry. Sympathies and singers travel internationally to perform at the renowned theater year-round, as well as participate in its annual festival in April. Correspondent Frank Contreras takes us to the heart of the Amazon for a night at the opera. The stage is set, and it's another full house at Brazil's world-famous Teatro Amazonas. And once again, the Amazonas Philharmonic provides the musical ambience. It's a 1924 opera known in English as The Cunning Little Vixen, inspired by a comic book and created by Czech composer Leos Janáček. It's the story of a playful fox cub which lives a carefree life in the forest with a host of other animals and insects. One day the fox's curiosity gets the best of her. She follows a frog until a local hunter captures the fox, puts a leash around her neck, and keeps her as a pet. Now in captivity, the fox is no longer free to roam about the forest as she once did, and the story takes on a tragic tone. The main character is played by Brazilian soprano Mayra Lautert. She says she's proud to be performing in this historic opera house and calls this the most important moment of her career. It's magical. You just can't explain it. It's only when you step out on stage knowing about everything you're trying to transmit. All the makeup, voice warm-ups, putting the costume on, then stepping out on the stage. The Renaissance-style Amazon Theater opened to the public in 1896. It gained fame for its awe-inspiring dome, still covered by 36,000 ceramic tiles in the colors of the Brazilian national flag. It was the height of the rubber boom and money Lots of it was flowing into this part of Brazil. Tremendously wealthy rubber barons decided they needed a touch of Europe right in the middle of the Amazon. So they financed the creation of this astounding building modeled after the opera house in Paris. When artificial rubber came out, Manaus lost its main source of income. The wealthy left and the Amazon theater closed down for 90 years. In 1990, it reopened after an $8 million restoration. Some of the world's greatest opera singers, including Spanish tenor Jose Carreras, have stepped on to this very stage. The Amazon Theater is considered one of the most lovely theatrical spaces in the entire world of opera, rivaling even Europe's best. It can seat 701 people, the majority of them in the balconies. And everything you see here, the chandeliers, the glass, the mirrors, even the marble was imported from Europe. A leading historian of Amazonian culture says the unabashed opulence of this opera house makes it the rubber boom's most important monument. What was the attitude of the rubber barons? He was a, a feudalistic lord. They have the right of life and death. He, had, he was the law. He was everything. He, here in the capital, he was like any other rich man uh, in London or because he was connected. He was a, a civilized guy with European customs. Uh, he came to the opera to be seen. Marin Broni from Poland is considered one of the world's leading baritones. He's seen opera houses in most every continent and says this one is among the most impressive. It's totally, totally amazing that this opera is, is here, it's so beautiful, and it's, it's, it's working, you know, since 17 years this festival uh, works and, and, and it's, it's famous and, and I hope will continue. More than a century after its creation, 
the Amazon Theater's majesty continues to inspire artists. Se eu puder, em alguns minutos, deixar... I can make someone happy for a few minutes because they're listening to me. That's everything. Doing good for people listening brings me joy. And that pushes them to give everything they have for the benefit of their loving audiences.